So how did I come to terms with the news that I would be getting an ileostomy? And everybody's story is different. And for me, it really came down to the fact that I have tried every other treatment out there. I have been through it all. All the laxatives, all the drugs, all the water treatments, all the neurostimulation treatments. And this was the conversation I had with my consultant. And he said, look, you have exhausted all medical options and we need to give you a more permanent solution if you want a better quality of life. And, you know, I went into that consult kind of knowing at the back of my mind that surgical options were pretty much all I've got left. So I set myself up for that appointment, but hearing someone else say it is upsetting. It's not nice to think about, but for me, both of these options are not ideal, okay? Staying as I am like this, where I have zero quality of life, I can't eat, I don't have a social life, I'm in pain all the time, I'm in bloating, I can't exercise regularly, feeling more and more unwell, all these other systems are getting affected now. Stay like that or have a bag. And yes, I've heard that, you know, the first six months aren't great. There's a lot of tweaking, a lot of adjusting. But in my mind, which of these options are gonna give me a better quality of life long term. And I just see that being the ileostomy. And you kind of come to a point when you've been unwell for such a long time. I'm so tired, so fed up with living life like this that, oh my God, if this treatment, this bag has the potential to give me my life back, so rather than being attached to the thing, which is the bag, but more what is the potential outcome it could give me, quality of life, going out with my friends, eating normal food, exercising, feeling good in my body, wearing nice clothes rather than sacks all the time. If that has the potential to do that, whereas staying like this doesn't, then in my mind, I have to go for it. I have to give myself that shot at a good quality of life long term. and. I'm not gonna lie, I've had my wobbles, I've had my days, and you know what? I wrote a list, okay? I wrote a list of what to read when I was having a wobble. Of all the shit times, all the bad times, all the negatives that have arisen from having this illness and these gut problems. And that list was seven pages long. So this is what I refer to every time I have a slight wobble because that's natural, but it's quality of life at the end of the day. We get one shot at life. I spent my whole 20s rough, feeling ill, and I don't wanna spend my 30s like that. So you come to terms with it by giving yourself the best chance at a quality of life. But if you're two going through the same thing and coming to that option and feeling worried or unsure or freaked out like I've been, then please drop me a message. You know, it's something that many people go through and there's a lot of advice and a lot of support out there, so drop me a message.